We have a problem! A big problem! Oh wait, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. Holy Moses. Okay, I also saved this time. Now let's try to drop down here without dying horribly. That would be preferable, wouldn't it? Slide, slide, slide. Ah, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Let's see, we just need to cross over here. Big giant caterpillars. Hmm. Hmm. My loyal companion appears to have disappeared. This is bad, as bad news as bad news can be. Oh, you found me again. That's nice. Fighting time. Gotcha. Oh crap! They're here too. escaped and infested this area. Oh crap, that's a lot of them. Uh, but I think we got their attention, yes sir. We got their attention. Are they coming up now? That's right, you keep distracting them. Ha! It's trapped inside the wall. Attack it while it's weak. Crap, this one has not merged with the wall. I could use some help here. I'm tr Sorry. No! Oh, damn it. I'm dying a lot today. Oh well. Narrows up ahead. That's the sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. 
Wait, you're saying I could just follow the river here? I didn't have to go the other way? Well, I don't know whether to be happy or angry about that. I think I'll do both. <laughs> it doesn't work. Someone's coming to greet us. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Who is Daniel? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English, from the holy books. Holy books? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Okay. Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Good to hear that um, the modern knowledge of science is spreading. Should it improve your living standards? What would you speak of? Your deal that just some roots. Tell me something about your tribe. We have dwelt in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the Caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Well, you got the Emperor of the Mojama Wasteland to help you now, so count your blessings. And what the hell is salt upon wounds? He is oh, war who? chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Great. Uh, fall on the cave, can you explain? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? No. He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. I see. Fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. Okay, let's see. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Sure. also rest here. Alright, let's finish with let's find this Daniel. See so what he has to say all about all this. Something tell me I should have gone up there. Well, maybe there's another way up. Okay. If I don't find Daniel down here. Nah, he's apparently up here, Rish, I think. Hey, wait a minute. 
The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. I'll only be happy to do that. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. None taken. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Hmm. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't king. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Lakes. I killed One a few of them. One of Sorrow's them. hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Maybe. Good luck. Give my regards to Joshua then. I will. Good gunning, Akis. Hey, Daniel, can we talk for a moment? You're still with us. How can I help you? Oh, some questions. Anything else? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley. And you might even find some on white legs you come across. No, I have some. Oh, that's great news. We can use anything you can offer. Take them all. Your generosity is... Uh, well, I, I just can't thank you enough. Well, above the whole evacuating sign, why evacuate? There's an old saying that goes, if you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the Sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the Sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. Why not, you know, kill them? There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. What about Joshua? Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. He's a burning when man, isn't he? Him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the white legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will. But it isn't up to me. And it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. Okay, what do you know of the White Legs? They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force 
raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. On to part of the uh, Legion, huh? Well, I can't allow that to happen. I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. If they're willing. I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. So this isn't the first time they pulled this? Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors. Slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the tar walkers and the crazy horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Of course. Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Yeah, about that, they kind of think they have the same thing. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Hmm. Let's talk more later. Until then. Well... That was interesting. This is a cave too area apparently. So is there like a village proper? Like with the people, merchants, anything? Like up there for example. How to get up there? Ah, there. I see now. Yep. See the up. Uh. Entirely correct way, but hey, I like improvising. So, this is a village proper, huh? There isn't much here. Well, I'll go looking around for side quests next time. Anyway, this has been Eric Cobra, and this has been Let's Play. Wait, how many quests did I get actually? I'm kind of curious. Seems like I got a lot.
Hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, this has been Eric Cobra, and this has been Let's Play Fallout Honest Hearts Blind. See you around.